Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. So I want to go over a physics one problem. Okay, you have the ground, this mannequin guy, and he's pulling a box with a rope at a 30 degree angle. All right, there's tension in the rope. And we want to find um, what that tension is. Okay, what the tension in the rope is. So I'll write down up here what the tension is. And we want to find what the normal force of the box is. So what is the normal force? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, let's see, we have here, we're going to, we're going to put in some values. All right, we're going to have, let's see, mass times gravity. Okay, so for now, we won't put any values in. I'll put the values in after. Okay, so I just want you to uh, see it solved just with variables, and then we're gonna show what's given to us. Okay, so right now we need a free body diagram. And so let's make that happen. We need a free body diagram, always, right? And this is of the box. Okay, so this is the box right here. And we're gonna put some forces on it that it's feeling. Okay, first of all, let's put the most obvious one we have here is the tension one, okay? So it's feeling that tension. And we have, let's see. Mm, let me use this color. Okay, it has that tension right from here we know that the normal is always in the n hat, right? Or it's, you know, it's always perpendicular to the surface. So the surface is flat and the normal is going up, right? We know that we always have mg going down. Okay, this box is being pulled to this side. And so friction is always opposing the motion. So friction is in this direction here, it's kinetic friction. And what else? And that's it. So we want to break this uh, tension into components that we can use, which is the X and the Y. Right now, we can't use this diagonal, this diagonal um, tension. We need to break it up into components. Okay. So we remember that. Here we have uh, 30 degrees, right? And we're going to write out we got here, so we got this, which is gonna be the, the F, uh, the FX or the tension in the X direction this is gonna be the tension in the Y, just to label them. Okay, so now this is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So we have tension times the sine of 30. And here we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's tension times the cosine of 30. All right, and so that's it. Now that we have our free body diagram, let's do some forces and see what equations we can come up with and use. All right, so, so now we did that, we got sum of forces, right? And so sum of forces, we all know is from the equation, the sum of F equals MA. Okay, that's the summation sign. All right. So now we're gonna do the sum of forces in the x direction. All right. What is this thing feeling in the x? Well, we just broke up this tension force into this component here and this component here. So this one, the run the red no longer exists. We only have f of x now and f of y. All right, so let's use that. We're gonna do the x direction. We're gonna say that in that direction is positive x, this direction is negative x. And I'm just establishing a coordinate system over here. And going down is negative y. All right, so if I pull this way, I have tension cosine of 30, right? And then opposing it, I have minus friction kinetic. And all that is equal to zero because right, we're not moving so in the problem 
everything is also static or at equilibrium so we're not we're not actually moving we just want to see at this moment this snapshot what the tension is what the normal force is okay so zero means nothing's moving right now we just took a picture of it all right so let's solve for uh friction we're going to move it over to the other side okay we're going to have friction kinetic and we know that friction okay we know that friction kinetic is equal to mu which is the coefficient of friction times the normal force okay so now let's write that in we have here mu normal let's write t cosine of 30 is equal to mu k normal right and let's hold this equation here okay we're going to be using it in a little bit so we'll label this one so equation one that was for f x now let's do f y so we have f y and in the y direction right this box is not moving up and down so it's just sliding and for that reason we have well actually we have so i'm sorry we have a couple things happening with this box all right so it's not just that this force is a, is uh equal to this force but we have the normal force and mg so the the floor is pushing up on this box which is the normal force the box is pushing down onto the floor which is mg and we also have him this guy pulling and that's giving us a force in the y that's positive so he's adding some lift to this box in order to get it moving which makes sense because the force would have to be in that direction lift it up from the ground a little bit less friction and then it's going to get sliding so anyway we're going to have a positive t sine of 30 right because that's this force here we're going to have a positive normal force right here and then we're going to have a negative negative mg all that's going to be equal to zero because again it's static and so we're not we're not moving we're evaluating it as we're moving okay now let's see what we get we have let's solve for normal okay so if i solve for normal and i put that to the other side and this one over here i'm going to get this is going to be equal to positive and this is going to be equal to negative on the other side Okay, so now I have an expression for the normal. And we'll label that equation two. Okay, let me fix this light. Okay, so that's equation two. Now, let's see where we go. So now we can do the same things um, like we did for the previous one. Okay, we're gonna plug in. So I'll continue over here. Let's continue this over here and we're gonna plug in um, two into one so plug two into one okay so this whole thing this normal we want to plug it right in there so we're gonna have here T cosine of 30 is equal to mu K n the n is this whole thing so now I'm gonna put mg minus t sine of 30 okay now perfect All right so now let's solve for tension because that's the first thing that we want so let's uh, multiply this in and single it out some algebra and so on this side here i'm going to keep that i'm going to uh, move that in so it's going to be mu k mg minus mu t mu k t sine of 30 so i just distributed in now i'm going to put this onto this side so i'm going to have t cosine of 30 here plus because it's a minus mu k t sine of 30 right when it moves over and everything is still going to be equal to this which is left over mu k mg okay so we want to solve for t so let's take out the t which is common in both of these so we got 
cosine of 30 left here plus mu k sine of 30. Right, if I put that back in, I'm still gonna have the t there. And this is mu k mg. Okay, so now we just divide this whole thing to the other side. And we're gonna finally get tension is equal to this mu k m g over cosine of 30 plus mu k sine of 30. Right, we just put all of that on the bottom there. Okay, and so let me find the values here. Okay, so the problem says that we have friction. So let me let me put what was given here. All right, I'm gonna put that up here on top. So what was given was that friction. Okay, friction kinetic is equal to zero point uh, four zero. Okay, at an angle of thirty, and the weight of the weight of this box here, right, or mg is going to equal five hundred newtons. Okay, so don't get confused with weight and mg. Weight is equal to mg. So if they tell you that the weight is 500 newtons, then you know that the mg is that. Okay, now we have those values. What can we find? We have gravity. We have, actually we have mg because mg together is 500 newtons. We have the friction. Right, cosine of 30, we have the friction and sine of 30. So now plugging all that in, we're gonna get that the tension is 188 newtons. All right, lovely. So we got the tension. Now the last problem, or the last question rather, we gotta find the normal. Okay, so let's look for the normal real quick. All right, and that's gonna be easy. So let's pick, so we found tension, right? And this, we can either pick this equation here or this one, okay? Just like in the previous problem, we have everything in here. We have the value of this, which is 500. We have tension, which, which we just got, and sine of 30. So this one looks nice, it's already ready for us. But we can use this one also. We just have to divide the mu to this side and to single it out. So first I'm gonna use this one. So if I used one, right, I would try to get rid of that mu. So I'm gonna have T cosine of 30 over mu K equals N. Okay, and so that would be nice to deal with. And if I had this one, right, I would already have everything in place. And so I would just put it on my calculator, but both of them mean the same exact thing. They're gonna give you the same exact number. Okay, we have tension, which is 188, cosine of 30, we know, and mu, which was given to us. So this we can solve, and the same here. We got mg, which is 500, minus tension, which is 188, and sine of 30. And so we end up getting that the normal, okay, the normal is equal to 406 newtons. Okay, and so the normal is up in this direction, okay? And that's how much Newtons is being uh, applied. And this is how much tension is in the rope, okay? At this snapshot of a moment where nothing is moving, but these are the properties. You got 30 degrees, this thing is looking at this much friction, it weighs this much, okay? So just a quick little problem, nice review. All right, hopefully it helped.